What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1596, the most frequently ordered products for each customer. This one is marked as medium, let's get straight into it. So we have three tables, one called customers, which is basically a lookup table for customers name and it contains their ID. We also have orders, which contains an order ID, order date, customer ID and product ID. Product ID is also in the lookup table, products, which contains product name and price as well. So you can look up a product's name and their price if you have their product ID. Our task is to write an SQL query to find the most frequently ordered products for each customer. The result table should have the product ID and product name for each customer ID who ordered at least one order. Return the result table in any order. The query result format should be the following, customer ID, product ID and product name. So since we have three tables and two of them are lookup tables, which just give you information about the customer and products based on their corresponding ID. We probably want to focus on orders because that's where we know which customer ordered which product on which date. So the problem seems quite simple. It's just about finding the most frequently ordered product for each customer. So let's in get into counting up which customer bought which product, how often, right? So we're going to select from orders and we're going to select customer ID and product ID, right? Because we want to count by customer ID and by product ID. And each row should be one order, so we could just use a placeholder here, but Imagine there would be duplicates in the table. Let's use distinct order ID so we don't count the same order twice. All right. We also need to group by customer ID and product ID when we make that count. And let's see what that gives us. Gives us just some IDs, pretty hard to read, but Customer 1 ordered product 1 once. Customer 1 ordered product 2 three times. So for customer ID 1, highest order count is 3 and the product is 2. And it appears in the expected output product 2 for customer ID 1, which is mouse. We didn't make that lookup yet, but we can always do that using the product lookup table. So now we have the count for each product being ordered by each customer, but how do we find out which is the most frequently ordered one? Basically, whenever you get this kind of question, it's pretty much about coming up with an ordering per a certain field. In this case, it's customer ID, and then taking the number one value in that order table. So that's what we're going to do here and we're going to use a window function called rank which is probably the most popular window function and is one you should probably know because it makes it very easy to select the number one x per y which is what we're doing here. So let's put that into a subquery, call that order counts, let's also give that count a name so it shows up as a well-structured column and not this long command name. Let's call this one order count without the S. And let's try to create that ranking. So we're gonna select custom ID, product ID again, and now we're gonna come up with that count. So we're going to use the rank window function following the window function syntax of using our window function, the over keyword, and then in brackets, partition by, order by, where we define what we want to partition our window by and what we want to order that window by. And then we're going to take, then it's going to assign a rank and we're going to use that rank to only take the row that is 
ranked as number one or on top of that window and ordering. So let's just do it and do an example output so you can see. So we're going to partition by custom ID. It basically works just like a group by but for that window. So we want to create this ranking for each custom ID because we don't care what other customers ordered when we try to find the most frequently ordered product per customer. We only want to look at this customer. Then we're going to order by our order count which we just established descendingly so the highest order count value will be on top and this is going to create a rank for that. Let's call that R. That's usually how you do it. And don't forget to write from here because we are selecting from that temporary table, order counts. So this one is going to give us these ranks. Maybe let's keep the order count in here to visualize it better. Let's see what this gives us. It's basically the same output just ordered and we have an additional field being that rank. So for custom ID 1, product 2 was ordered three times and that would be rank number one for that customer. Then custom ID ordered product 1 one time which would be rank 2 for that customer. It's now in the ordering of most ordered product first. Then custom ID order product one once, which is rank one. Then that customer also ordered a bunch of other products, no, just two and three one time, and that is also rank one. So basically, it's a tie, and they all get rank one. There are different window functions for not tying ranks, dance rank, but for this problem, this should work. I assume we will return several if we have the same amount of orders. Judging from the output table, uh, output example, it's the case that we should output three values for custom ID2 because they all have the same order count, these three products. Okay, so let's maybe keep that and put that into another subquery and now we want to select our final output which is custom ID, product ID and product name. So let's select custom ID, product ID product name which we need to get from the products table. From this temporary table let's call it order counts ranked because it also includes the rank now and now we just need to join products on product ID. Okay. Now we use our rank to say we only want to output entries that are ranked number one for each customer. And that way we only get the most frequently ordered product for these customers. And that's pretty much our final solution. So let's see if this works. Column product ID is ambiguous because it appears in both products and our other tables, order, order accounts, order accounts ranked. So let's select this specifically from products. They should match anyways because we join on them. But this should do the trick and get us an accepted output. And if we submit that, it's also an, accept set, an accepted solution. So that's pretty much it for that problem. You can reduce the amount of code here by getting rid of that order count, for example, because we don't need it anymore. We can just use the rank. I kind of did that to visualize it better here in our intermediate output.
and then we could also put the count directly in the rank and skip that one subquery. But I think it reads worse and it's harder to explain as you come up, come up with it. And I think that's very important in an interview to be able to guide through the process. So that's been it for this problem. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to follow along. If you want to study some more, I have playlists for each difficulty of Lead Code Database SQL problems, one for easy, medium and hard, and I also have a playlist containing all videos on all difficulties. So make sure you check them out and consider subscribing to the channel so you can study some more and hopefully ace your interviews. Hope I see you guys next time. Until then, bye.